All right, here we are for round number one. We have won the die roll and chosen to play first. And as an opener, this hand is pretty bad, but I think not a mulligan. Um, I think if we knew like what sort of a matchup we were in, we could decide to mulligan. But you know, we've got three cards we can cast. We've got all of our mana requirements. We could definitely draw a two drop. Um, selfless Sel Hoff Occultist can uh, help us turn on our, our Drake. And there we go. We just got a nice little four drop here. Probably our most powerful card in the deck. Green black, huh? Drop the Occultist. Cobbled wings and no land from the opponent. Yikes. All right, well, just go ahead and play the Juggernaut. Attack in. Our opponent did mulligan to six, so that might just... Ooh. Is that what you meant to do? I'll mill, I'll mill myself. Okay. In with the team. And Foxy. And Youth. And that's got to be it. Oh, we found a blue source. Oh, mate, you must be doing some spider spawning shenanigans. Do I want to flip? Well, you better believe I do, baby. Oh, you better believe I do, baby. Great. No myself. No myself. Always yield. Untap. Oh god, we milled think twice. This is, that's why you just like always mill your. Oh no. That's why you always mill yourself. Uh, we'll get rid of the fox here. And now we just get to keep our rebuke. That, that's that's got to be got to be it for the opponent. Yeah. Well, that was busted. Let's hope they stumble like that again. Um, Orchard Spirit is a spirit, but I think we'll just chill and probably run it back as is. This is much more what I expected and was hoping for as a starting hand for this, uh, this deck. Just stacked with bodies ready to get in the red zone. So we'll flip the youth on three. If it dies, we'll play Stitch Drake. If it doesn't, we'll drop a Voiceless Spirit. The old main phase, think twice. Our, our opponent's on some graveyard shenanigans, and I think this is where our, our blue-white beatdown tempo deck is really gonna, gonna shine. Because unless our opponent is really able to, to set things up quickly. Do I wanna flip? Yes. Oh, baby. So, crack in there. Play Voiceless Spirit, pass it up. Opponents on Mulch, revealing Wreath of Geist and Scob Ruinator. So they can cast this from their graveyard once they have three other creatures. And there's a Boneyard Worm. And an attack for three, for two. That's just fine. Island, attack, attack. They're just trying to get up to the old Scob Ruinator. Play the Juggernaut. I'm hoping the next turn something dies so I can go Fox and Drake. Grizzled Outcasts. This is, here, this is where I would just love Silent Departure. Because Silent Departure here is just so back-breaking. You just go, cool, one mana bounce this, and then they can replay it, but they just know you get to bounce it again. Really, really brutal. Uh, yeah, I'm going to think attack with everything. So I assume they're just going to double block the Juggernaut. Oh, no. That's also fine. Uh, 
Maybe untap. Drake. Exile. Fox. And now we have five points of damage in the air. See? See what I mean? Fantastic card. Prey upon. All right, all right, all right. Cute. And another villagers. All right, the turn in the corner here. You can attack with your 2-3. Come on. Yeah, there you go. I'm not actually that concerned right now. Let's think once. Beautiful. Um, let's play Juggernaut. Let's attack. So you can flash back Silent Departure. I have no problem with that. Oh, you don't want to. You want a creature to die. You want all of your ding-dongs to flip. Yeah, that's not really going to work out super well for you, but... I hope you have something to do. Because here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go bounce you. And bounce you. It's like a build your own floodwaters. Sure, draw all the cards you want. But now you have to just go to two. Because you have to chump the juggernaut. And then you have to bounce my voiceless spirit. And your two three flips. So you're in a bit of a, a pickle. I'm enjoying an old fashioned at the moment. Yep, you have to do that. You then can't attack. Let's, uh, let's think. Yeah, that's a good one. Let's play Voiceless Spirit. Let's pass. And you got an answer for the spirit? No, you do not. Those were some quick games, baby. Our, our opponent's deck did not seem very strong to me. So I'm not surprised about that. Just quickly hopping in match number two. Ooh, I hope this just goes super quick. Oh, I don't want to play first. Yes. Snap keep. Oh, I'll make as many 3-3s three that deal me damage as you want. I mean, if that match was any indication, that is just like not the kind of deck you would have seen in the heyday of Innistrad from our opponent. I mean, I don't actually know if this is the kind of deck you would have seen either. Now, Doom Traveler is a good card. No. Let's not get cocky, kid. Silent Departure is a better card. Doom Traveler, good. Silent Departure, better. You want to attack. Now, raid is not a thing, but morbid is, right? So when a thing dies, people care about that. Uh, yes, I'll flip. Nice. Okay. Island. Attack. Yep. Lose a life. Sure. So I'll probably cackle to block. There it is, Chapelgeist, okay. Cackle to block, no, all right. It's at the beginning of your end step, right? So cackle, you, these doesn't matter, we're in my end step anyway. I have a priest, which is good. Attack, attack. Hopefully they block the, double block the non-token. You bum. You bum. There we go. 
That's just fine by me. And play priest and pass. So black, white, pinky up, you create X, where X is then half the number of zombies you control rounded down. <laughs> interesting decisions, opponent, interesting decisions. Ooh, baby. What a treat. What a treat to get to just have Silver Chase Fox hanging out. To, like, blow up their dumb card and then fuel our Stitched Drake. Just perfect. Just honestly just perfect. So this is not good. Certainly not good in uh, white-black. Like, might be a thing in blue-black. Uh, white black became a thing once Dark Ascension was added. All right, our opponent just just off it. Like played a good card, played a good card, played a nearly unplayable card, and then conceded. While we're just going curving out on them, we're just we're just taking the Ixalan approach. We're just going straight beard on these people. For those who don't know, beard is the revision of bread that uh, Mr. Metronome and I came up with. For our latest podcast episode, episode 17, How to Draft and Win in Ixalan. And Beard stands for Bombs Enhancements Aggro Removal Dudes. And we are straight on that plan. We've got no bombs. We've got some enhancements. We've got some aggro. And we've got some removal. We got dudes. We got dudes for days. Could no, I could I, mean, I could play this to kill the two three, kills the two three and it kills, and the strength of the dead. I, I gotta see what this this person's deck is doing. I'm not I'm not ready to like totally switch up my my deck here, based on what I've seen so far. So this is not great. We're on the draw though. We need blue and we need. This kind of feels like a mulligan. I don't know if I'm like too aggressively mulliganing, but I, I want our deck to punish people who have like bad decks, which our opponent doesn't seem like they have, but also this hand means we need to draw an island, but we also need to draw other things. Uh, not mulligan. This is way better. Keep bottom. They got Doom Traveler on one. Just like good for good for you. We're still probably on on youth on two, priest on three, that kind of thing. No swamps for our opponent. See if they have a two. They do not. Ooh, baby, it's a nice three. Cloistered youth coming on in. There you go. You got there. Oh, is it a man or is it a skeleton? Man or skeleton? This is nearly unplayable. So I feel like I'm two for two with playing against opponents who don't quite have any idea what this format is, is about. Um, which makes me just want to jam these cues. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'll attack, baby. Oh, I will. And you just want to take three. This is the other thing. Is like Doom Traveler wants to die. Like you want it to be a one-one flyer. I don't understand why they're not just taking the blocks here. Okay, now our opponents got it. This card is fantastic. If you remember, this was a common in Modern Masters three. This card was absurd. So like I just can't ever activate Stitcher's Apprentice because it's going to turn this on and get them to. Make me lose life and them gain a life. And that is real bad. Okay, so. We'll crack in with Unholy Fiend? Awful. They're going to block with Doom Traveler here. Yep. Gain and drain. Make a 1-1. One, one. Uh... 
yeah. Mm. If I play Apprentice here, yeah, I'm going to play Apprentice. Here's why I think playing Apprentice is right. Next turn, I can play Mausoleum Guard and tap something. So, wait, oh, I lost life because of this. So here I get to tap the Noble at least to prevent myself from taking the two in the air. Elder Cathar, interesting. So there, there are, oh God, and I didn't tap because I'm a dummy. We just take, we'll just take two and we'll tap the Cathar and then at least we can attack for three. But I did not mean to do that. Oh, non-human, you dummy. Commander Skeleton, I guess. Oh boy, that was a punt. Ooh, that's a good one. I still think we're on Muslim Guard here. Because we want to make two 1-1 flyers. Uh, I'll go ahead and attack. I I'm fine to trade this off for this double block here. And then bounce Falconrath Noble if that's what they want. Yep, Unholy Fiend wrecking my life right now. Let's see if we can turn it around. Do we have life gain in the deck? Oh, right, Butcher's Cleaver. Beer me a Butcher's Cleaver, dealer. Tap. The other thing to be aware of is that Morbid is a mechanic in the format. And Morbid cares about when creatures die. So when your opponent like seems to make weird attacks, it doesn't necessarily mean they have a trick. Like, ooh, Mausoleum Guard. It means that they might just have... Um, oh, heck yes. Okay. Now we got some plays to make. Now what I think we're doing is we're going to certainly bounce Mausoleum Guard. I just, I just got... I was slouched in my chair, and now I am upright. I've got elbows on the table. We are... We are focused right now. Okay, we're gonna attack with the fiend. Just the fiend? Yeah, just the fiend. Cause Butcher's Cleaver really has gotta sit on Mausoleum Guard to win us some life, to gain us some life here. Oh, that is a surprising turn of events. You're trying to put some counters on your noble or on your regenerate i mean what are you putting counters on buddy on your three three and now now a three three regenerator oh oh that's right it only puts two. Oh, that doesn't oh, that's it's only two if it's a human we're all learning this format it's new it's fresh we're all figuring things out yeah we're gonna lose a life i know i know so I think if they play a land, the plan is to tap Skeleton, actually. What's this all about? Guard again. Well, now I don't care about Skeleton. And I just don't want you to attack me for two. Because now I mean, I'm just going to do this. Like, I just want to gain some life, buddy. I know you're not... I know you want to block... I know you want Mausoleum Guard to die. Yeah, you can't do that fast enough. I know that. But like, we gained five here, which is a lot. I know you had to drain, blah, blah, blah. Get some one ones, gain and drain, gain and drain, yada yada. If I can't tap, is that disastrous? No. So I'm gonna just think twice now and hope to draw land. And we don't, and that's fine.
We might be about at the time when I need to just sacrifice this unholy fiend. All right. It's the first interesting game we've played this entire series. Land? Tigernaut is not quite right, though doesn't feel super wrong. Uh, I'll attack with Fiend. I think I just want to play a Cultist and tap. You're just gonna chump, and then I lose some life and cry. But I've got a cultist coming in. It should help us gain some life here. So right now I'm really feeling the 16 lands. I mean, you know, whatever. One more land probably is not gonna help us out a ton, but. What do you got? Avatar Ghoul. Whenever a creature dealt damage by Avatar Ghoul this turn dies, you gain life. Okay, right, I remember that. Okay, uh, tap that for sure. In all honesty, I did click through, but we do have good blocks everywhere else. Oh, Rebuke. Rebuke is nice. So what happens if I equip the Occultist? You block with a thing and a spirit. I think that's fine. Certainly mill myself three times. God, Falconrath Noble is so good, especially in this format. My god, that card is fantastic. So our bonus deck seems to make a bit more sense. Like these three things that they have in their yard are all like when this dies, you get a bonus. So I don't know if I wonder if they have another noble or if it's just built around the one. Land, land, a land. Wow. Nice job, deck. Uh, okay. I should have attacked with Unholy Fiend. I don't know why I didn't. Should have attacked with Unholy Fiend. Typhoid rats, who cares? Tap you. Mm hmm. And nothing. Another priest, you say? Okay, well, I think we got to attack with you. Yeah, I think we gotta get rid of you. <laughs> Make it 2 2, get rid of you. We gotta stop losing life. I know it was a 3 3, which was nice, but. Can't happen anymore, and <sighs> I am pretty bummed about playing another mana sink. What happens if I can attack with this and I have no good blocks, which is the same for now? I could tap that. I think I just gotta play priest number two. Feels bad. Uh, and we're, we're very, very nearly a point where 
the trades uh, that our opponent can make are lethal. So the priest here is really just a like, please let me put my butcher's cleaver on something and gain some life. Geist, good God. Deck, come on. All right, well, let's play this. Get rid of Cloistered Youth. And I can tap two things. But again, we're close. We're close to just getting dead from Falconrath Noble. Said that we literally had to mill three lands in a row. Uh, tap the ghoul and tap the skeleton, I think. Nice, no attacks, real dece, real dece. Abby Griffin, not gonna be easy. Land, please. All right, Voiceless Spirit. Helps us do sort of the same thing, though I think maybe now we're dead. Though I think maybe now we're dead. Tap you. Oh, no, we're not because of Voiceless Spirit. We'll see if they, they might make a mistake. We'll see. They do not. And they play Thraben Pure Bloods. Okay. Well, this is just ridiculous. All right, well, we get to tap some stuff and we get to copy some stuff, so we'll see if maybe that does it. I don't know. Maybe we'll draw. I mean, I know we milled three lands, but come on. This is ridiculous. Three Raven Sentry, whenever another creature you control dies. Mm, block. Mm, block. Da ba boo block do it up do that. Probably not the time for Hanson. I'm not sure how this is good for them. Block block. Right, gain and drain, but and you flip your five four, but who cares? I guess I could have made another three four and just killed this pure blood, but a life gain feels a little relevant. Um You know, I just might want a human. I thought I wanted a 3 for it, but I think I just want a human. And now I do not draw a land, but now I can just go equip. An attack and either trade with something, but I get to gain four, which is important. Gain four and I'm gonna gain two and kill a thing important yep no plays because I need all my lands of which there are eight remaining I have a 50% chance to draw lands a vampire interloper can't block yep tap the 
Oh, I can't tap the 5 4. We'll still tap the 4 3. And we will tap the 2 2. Yeah, the 5 4 is a bummer. That seems bold. Hmm. Yikes. Wish I had rebuke up right now, don't I? Okay, well, I think we just gotta kill it in the quickest way possible. I think that's gotta be it. Oh fuck, it has trample. I'm dead. Three things are dying, and I'm taking two. No, I'm not dead. We do go to one. This is not how my deck is supposed to function, like trying to grind out a match against a Falcon Wrath Noble. Not how my deck is supposed to function. So now nothing can die. Oh, good, a land. What use you, you are to me. I, just, I have to gain life. Literally have to gain life. Go to five, trade some stuff off. What are some attacks like? I guess let's find out. Because I think I'm just supposed to rebuke. Oh, we're just dead. All right. Interesting. All right, let's, uh, let's try to not let that happen. Let's try and win before that happens, shall we? There's not really any like changes I want to make. I just want to not have that happen again. And I definitely think on the play we can mess with that. I, I, I need some silent departures in my life, and I need some lands in my life. But not too many lands, but more lands than that. All right, what do I like to play first? Yes. Keep. It's not a good hand, but... Again, we could draw a two drop. And Voice of Spirit plus Butcher's Cleaver is tough for them to deal with. All right, we draw a four drop, which is similar to a two drop, but different. It's twice as much. Death Touch Rat, don't care. I just basically just don't want you to draw your dumb, well, you're late. Just don't want you to draw your dumb noble. That's all. But I guess you're not that late because they would have just played the rats. Ooh, interesting. Chapel Geist. Come on in. Land. Juggernaut. Because now I can just put Spectral Flight on the Juggernaut, which is a big game. And if I draw land and chump attack with Voice of Spirit, then I'm going to play Stitch Drake. Good God, we got a game on our hands. All right. <sighs> oh, what a mistake. Do you want to be on YouTube? Yeah. Great. You are? Hi, YouTube. Just your sultry voice. Hello, YouTube. Nice. My God, that was good. Are you podcasting? Um, I mean, I'm just making a YouTube video. Yeah. What are you doing? Um, intruding on your YouTube video. <laughs> hey. Going upstairs, I guess. I'll be done very soon. 
So, so there's that. How how's your um, your lukewarm mushrooms? Are they they all came out okay? They all came out okay. Yeah. So you said you didn't you were left liquid than you thought. But it was, did that work out, or do you know yet? Uh, I think we can you know, like just add some water. Yeah, it was less. It was like I only made like four cups. It was supposed to make six, mm. but it should be okay. I'm not super concerned. Jen said it tastes good, so Great. that's all that matters. And the uh, um, no eh, no updates on cheese probably, huh? Not till Friday. <laughs> not till Friday. Do you have, like a timer or like? Uh, 72 hours. I put it in at like 3.30 on uh, Tuesday. So <sighs> Friday, we'll see if that milk and cream turns into cheese, baby. Would you just, you just like put milk and che- cream into like a thing? Make some, it, is it just molded half and half? Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's exactly what it is. Great. What else should it be? Nothing. I think that's, that's what I was hoping for. Great. So we're gonna do this. Sorry, sorry for that. I needs to get all like insight into my life, but I didn't want to stop recording. Uh, I'm gonna play Fox. I'm not gonna attack, and then we're gonna to get to fire off the Fox blowing up enchantment life. And if they kill the Fox, then we just get to play Stitch Drake, which is also good. Oh, but not like that. Not like that opponent. It's, it's still fine because Voiceless Spirit is, is really holding them off right now. And if they kill that, we've got another one in the wings. But Silent Departure is just gas here. Ooh, baby, a triple. I guess they still could just regenerate it. Oh, I'm so dumb. Okay. What's great is also that Silver Chase Fox untaps the juggernaut when we sacrifice it. Okay, that's fine. We're st- we're still gonna just be on that plan. No blocks. There's like moment of heroism or whatever. I don't really need to block with Silver Chase Fox there. Like I'll take one. That's fine. Manor Skeleton. Okay. Get wrecked enchantment. Look at all these triggers happening. Okay. Gain and drain. Untap. You're gonna go for the regen, yep. The regen, degen, yep. And we're gonna attack. I mean, you gotta block something, yep. Go to seven, sure. Play Stitch Drake. Goodbye, Silver Chase. And pass. I do like our chances with our board of evasive threats. Spectral Flight doing work. One with the wind. Come on. Show me that you're worth it.
They're thinking, which is both good and bad. Raven Sentry. Sure, don't care. Oh, now that is what's up right now. Because so I can just theoretically bounce both flyers and win. All right, let's try that. Uh, let's, uh, let's bounce Noble first. I guess like uh, Victim of Night untaps. Oh no, oh no. The power of Silent Departure though. Card is too good. I would love to just come out the gate and trophy with my first Innistrad flashback draft. I really would. Easy game, easy life. Yeah, Silent Departure. I mean, it looks like it's Unsummon. I, I remember when I looked at the previews, I was just like, this is just Unsummon. It was when I had like just first started really getting into listening to limited resources. I was like, Unsummon's not really worth a card. And it's like two copies of Unsummon, but it's only at sorcery speed, so you're never really blowing someone out. But just like two Unsummons is really good. Uh, this hand is fantastic. Cloistered Youth, Midnight Haunting, Unsummon, and Stitch Drake. Really, really strong. Oh! Oh! What an interesting life we all live. They flip first. Get in for three first, but also deal themselves a damage first. Play a Silver Chase Fox, also an interesting draw. Yes. Crack in here. I think I would rather have Voiceless Spirit um, on this board than playing Midnight Haunting. I think next turn I might Silent Departure the Fiend and then play uh, Midnight Haunting rather than play Mausoleum Guard. See what uh, what the opponent does. They got Bonds of Faith. Great. Well, solves my Silent Departure issues immediately. Take three. And they play another Fox. Wow. Our decks are so incredibly similar. It's kind of eerie. <laughs> Um, gosh, do I want to replay it? Yeah, I do. I kind of want it to die so that I can play Drake and just stonewall the unholy spirit. Grasp of phantoms. Okay. I don't love that they have that coming, but it's four lands away, so I am going to chump here and then play Drake. But this is where the power of something like Silent Departure just destroys us. Yeah, don't love it, but got a block. Play Moon Heron. Okay. Spirit, Youth, Pass. 
must pass. Murder of Crows. That is such a strong card. I remember that. Do I want to flip? Heck no. Heck no, I don't want to flip. Uh, wow. Well, I guess we're going to play Midnight Haunting then. gonna play Midnight Guard. I'm gonna play Land. I'm gonna pass. And next turn, which feels like we might be able to get to, we get to equip Butcher's Cleaver to Mausoleum Guard, which is a pretty big swing. I mean, they'll get to loot twice, which is not good. But, oh, Bonds of Faith. Okay, another Bonds. And an attack. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna just line up the blocks. I could just chump too and let them loot rather than let them loot a bunch. Maybe I just chump. eventually I can put the cleaver on this voiceless spirit and maybe that's two eventually but discard village bell ringer yikes that doesn't make me feel good no cleaver oh I should I should have killed it because now they get to loot twice anyway so yeah, I should have killed it. Yeah, should have killed me when you had that chance. Rebuke. Okay. Make some one ones. They discard land. We'll play a land. Because if I draw another one, then I'll want to be able to equip and bounce in the same turn, if possible. get it. Oh, you get it, don't you? Hmm. Well, this can get us life. I think we're on chump. Double block life. Loot all you want, buddy. Not looking good for the home team right now. So cards, we definitely want to bring in Urgent Exorcism. We've seen Spirits and we've seen... Uh, two Enchantments, two Bonds of Faith. That'll be an easy bring in. Another Moon Heron as well. Oh my god, wow, our decks are so similar. It's really impressive. No. Nope. Um, so we can bounce and swing in for four. Let's 
So it's just like gain four, take four, which is not great. They discarded Midnight Haunting. How stacked must your hand be to discard Midnight Haunting? Blazing Torch. Yikes. Can't beat that. Well. I'm going to gain four here. Go ahead and equip there. I guess we will be dead if they want to deal us two to the face. And I would have to trade these off anyway. It is eerie how similar our decks are. Gosh. I think I should have put the cleaver on here because then you would have had to put it, yep. I screwed this up for sure. So much looting. Murder of Crows is absurd. Oh, and they've also got Civilized Scholar for looting. right to equip attack I think we're, we're just dead we're just dead all right let's bring in urgent exorcism let's cut cultist it's a human which is nice But other than that, I don't really need it. Smite was only really good for murder of crows. Let's hope our draw matches up better. Would I like to play first? You bet I would. I'll keep. Not thrilled about having Spectral Fight against this opponent, but Stitcher's Apprentice could be quite good. Stitcher's Apprentice can always just swap itself, too. Cloistered Youth. There we go. That's a good, 
good one to see. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to bounce that. I'm just going to set myself up for a little tempo life. If you want to replay it, good. If you don't, good. I'm going to play Civilized Scholar. Okay. Attack. Play the Mausoleum Guard. Make a Juggernaut. Ooh, what about my own Juggernaut that can fly, baby? Discard a land. You must attack. I must take five, which I will. We got Bonds of Faith. I guess that's a reason to not play Spectral Flight before I have to. Another youth, or the, the original youth. That's a good draw. Attack, attack. Rebuke. Oh, no, 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 no. The misclick, though. Magic Online, why did you... Oh, that makes me just want to die. <laughs> oh, that like almost warrants me not wanting to post this video on, on YouTube. Wow. That's so disastrous. Oh, that bums me out so much. But it wouldn't have made a huge difference. They still would have killed my mausoleum guard. And now, of course, you have murder of crows and a 3-3. And yeah, I just want to cry. Uh, do I want to flip? I guess not. Yeah, there's not much I can do. All right, well, 2-1 life, that is. I think even without that misclick, we would have been pretty owned, but I'll take my 80 play points and, and cry, cry in the corner. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Lord Tupperware, and my podcast available on iTunes, Stitcher, and MTGCast, Lords of Limited. Catch you all next time for another draft.